back with another body care routine. This one is all pink and I've been loving this combo lately, so let's jump right into it. I'm starting off using the Dove Sensitive Skin Body Bar, which is my favorite to use. It's unscented and I like to use this at the start of all of my showers pretty much just to get a good base clean on my body because sometimes body wash just isn't enough, especially after working out or something like that. I just like to be as squeaky clean as possible. Next, I'm using a little body scrub. This one is the cotton candy scent from Tree Hut, and this is like a strawberry cotton candy smell. It's one of my favorites from them, and I always see it at Target, so if you haven't been able to find it, check Target. And this smells incredible. Very sugary, very fruity. If you love very sweet smells, you would really enjoy this. I only use a body scrub about three times a week just to make sure that I'm getting off any dead skin and just giving myself a nice radiant glow. If you have sensitive skin, I would recommend doing this less, maybe like twice a week. But this is also a step that I would not recommend skipping before you shave. I'm not shaving, but I did just want my body care combo to smell really good, so I was just layering up all of my scents. Always, always, always exfoliate your feet a little extra in the shower. I've been paying close attention to my heels because I don't want rough and scaly feet, especially like after I get a pedicure, I try to upkeep everything that they did in the salon. Once I'm done scrubbing, I move on to body wash. This is literally my favorite body wash right now. You have to try it. It's the Olay Hyaluronic Acid Wash. And this smells like a girl. Like whatever you imagine a girl to smell like, it's this. It's just like a floral smell. I feel like it smells like jasmine or something. And it leaves my skin so freaking soft. And I guess it's because of the hyaluronic acid. But I have so many backup bottles of this. And it pairs so well with like Valentino Donna Born in Roma and you honestly don't even need perfume when you have this body wash because it's so highly fragranced which can be like a turn off for some people but I personally love it it just gives me like Barbie vibes like it smells like the color pink there are other scents from this line like brown sugar and all that other stuff but the hyaluronic acid one has to be my favorite because it just smells the most feminine it's kind of sparkling and I just love it after that, I'm putting on my Dove Dry Spray Deodorant. It's my favorite and it keeps me dry and fresh all day. Then I'm washing my face using the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Wash from Youth to the People. And I'm using my Ferreo Luna 3, washing my face for a good 60 seconds to make sure I'm really getting a good, effective clean before I move on to the rest of my skincare. Now, here's the product that I swear by, the Snail Mucin from COSRX. This product solves any problem I'm having with my skin, whether it's hyperpigmentation, breakouts, dryness. I'm just still in disbelief at how good this stuff is, and it just repairs your skin barrier so well and so quickly. It's almost like an overnight fix. Also, it looks like I'm being rough with my skin, but I'm really not. I just move around like a child, but I promise you, I'm not being too rough on my face. But next, I'm using some moisturizer. This is from First Aid Beauty, and it's the Ultra Repair Cream. My skin has been extra dry lately, especially around my nose, and it actually really hurts. So I'm using my winter moisturizer, and this has colloidal oatmeal, which is soothing. And the moisturizer is very thick and good for eczema and dry skin. So next, I'm moving on to a little bit of makeup. This is sort of like a get ready with me. I feel like it's really important for every girl to have a simplified makeup routine. I do own a lot of makeup, but I have this one routine that I do whenever 
I don't know what to do and I just know it's gonna look so good every single time and it's sort of like my staple go-to look so this is what I end up doing no matter where I'm going I was actually going out this night and I ended up doing my staple 10 minute makeup routine and it just hits every single time the only thing different that I added was some smudged liner since I was going out at night and I feel like smudged liner just makes it more night appropriate gives it that smoky vibe I did my makeup a couple of hours in advance so I could take a nap in it and let it marinate because I love when the makeup has that worn in look and it just looks more glowy and less powdery makeup -y. So that's why it's still a little bit bright outside but then I'm just adding some gloss and moving on to the rest of my body care. For the rest of my body care combo, I'm lotioning using the Beige Floor Cream from Sol de Janeiro. And I talk about this so much, it's amazing. It smells like cotton candy, sort of like Burberry Her mixed with Ariana Grande's Cloud. It's just like that sweet, airy sponge sugar smell. It's so delectable. All of Sol de Janeiro's body creams are amazing, but this one has to be my favorite. It's not too sweet to the point where it smells cheap either. It has jasmine, hibiscus, and like some witty notes in there to balance it out. It does sort of smell like Baccarat Rouge, but with more sugar. I also make sure to apply a little extra to the points where I apply my perfume just to make sure that it sticks a lot better. Next, I'm using the Ala Rose Hair Mist from Mason Francis Cartesian, which is a sweet, musky rose with sweet pea. Very feminine, fresh, and powdery. I love MFK. So many people love MFK. And the hair mists are such a great way to dive into the fragrances without spending the price tag of the actual perfume. This was around $80. You can also get additional money off with my code Sierra10. And I'll leave a link down below if y'all want to try it out. The next step of my fragrance combo is my actual perfume, which is Burberry Her. As you can tell, I really like this. I have so many perfumes, and for me to go halfway through a bottle means a lot. So this has notes of jasmine musk amber berry it smells like a fruity version of baccarat rouge and it was actually made by francis cartridge so that's why this smells so similar i get a lot of compliments on this and people often say that this doesn't last that long and people are surprised when i tell them it lasts long and that's because i use my perfumes like body mist you're gonna see i apply so many sprays of this but i always overspray my perfumes because i want them to last all day long so this is normally how i put on all of my perfumes just like i would a body spray Speaking of body spray, that's the last part of my perfume combo. I'm putting on the Brazilian Crush 68, which is just the Beige Flora spray. It's Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. And I just like to do this as the finishing touch, just to top off everything. Layering your fragrances makes them more intense and increases the longevity, so that's just why I like to do this. Since this is just the body spray, it lasts longer on the clothes than on the skin. But that's all for this video, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!